Hi everyone, it's Amanda Leffler. Uh, this week ends with our Being Fit for Christ, and I thought this was a great way to end the eight weeks of this course. Um, please excuse my puppy here, Noah. I guess he wanted a little bit of the spotlight as well today. So, um, But I thought that this was a great way to end this eight-week eight week class um, with Being Fit for Christ, and it really goes in hand with uh, being a coach and having your clients when they come to us and say that you know the reasons why they're wanting to be fit or healthy and so what I would do as their coach is really ask them what the reasoning is behind what they're really wanting to be why they're really wanting to be healthy and I think sometimes coaches they may get the answers as well I want to look a certain way or I want to be a certain weight or um, I want to be a certain dress size or pants size or you know and so I guess as coaches we really need to dig deep as to what the clients um, intentions are by doing this of serving Christ and um, this may put them in a little bit more perspective as to are they really wanting to get fit just for themselves or are they wanting to get fit for Christ and this question may help them ponder on you know what my reasons are and um, where exactly is my thinking going is it just on myself or is it also on glorifying God and so I found an article today on Christianity Today International which is a website and uh, the article is called pursuing God pursuing fitness how you can find the time and stay motivated to exercise and it's by a lady her name is Trolia Newbell and so she she asks a question um, and it says so what did God create us for God created us for worship for himself we see just a glimpse of this in Psalms 100 verse 3 and it says according to or I'm sorry, acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. So we are God's creation. She goes on to uh, quote Ephesians 2.10, which says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things He planned for us long ago. Each intricately designed cell, every single strand of hair, everything designed by God, which is mentioned in Matthew 10, verse 30. He has made us for his glory, as reading in Isaiah 43, verse 7. So God created us to be fit for him, and that's in exercise, that's in nutrition what we put into our bodies because he has given us our body as a temple to take care of and we can't glorify him when we're not being fit for him when we're only being fit for ourselves we lose out on so much when we're only uh, thinking of ourselves and the body images that we see and that and that's a hard time because especially for women you know we see um, what supermodels look like and celebrities look like and sometimes it's just that it's just not realistic and when we're trying to pursue that and we have clients trying to, to pursue that they lose out on so much more uh, with glorifying God because when we glorify him he meets every single need of ours uh, she says if we pursue exercise with a mindset of honoring God and fearing him we will be satisfied not in our looks or how we feel but in better understanding that our bodies are a means of giving worship and glory to God this is a powerful statement like I like I just mentioned when we are exercising and trying to change that lifestyle so our so we and our clients can better be you know mentally um, fit for Christ and also physically fit for Christ 
he takes us beyond what our goals can be for ourselves whether it be you know looking that certain weight or weight management or you know just having that energy when we have that energy our clients can go far beyond what their goals that they thought that they thought that they had for themselves but really what God had in mind for them and that is on their path and on their journey and that they are glorifying God because it's his vision that they're really needing also the benefits of exercising and also being um, watching what we're putting in our bodies and being nutritious putting those nutritious uh, things into our bodies and in, and you know letting our clients know the uh, nutrition part of this as well there are so many benefits that God gives us and our clients when we do this when we do glorify him and that's getting better sleep having more energy um, being mentally fit and um, also you know for our clients who are suffering some, some from some physical ailments like high blood pressure or diabetes or stress anxiety depression this all adds up these are all the benefits that add up to for the clients to reach and that makes them feel just so much better God is providing all of that for them when our clients are really glorifying them in their journey to be um, physically fit or mentally fit or just have an overall wellness lifestyle change in their wellness she also uh, Shalia also she she really concludes her um, article with we can set goals and go after them with determination and passion but as we pursue fitness as a lifestyle we must always be cautious to not grasp that goal too tightly this is where it really got me because a lot of times you know we grasp on those goals so tightly our clients grasp on those goals so tightly this is where I need to be um, at a weight this is what size I need to be and I'm not going to stop until I get there you know the, these goals they grasp on so tightly she goes on to say instead we pursue it loosely the culture's messages about fitness are a lie a perfect body is not the goal instead we choose to remember the only thing that we will that will ever truly satisfy us isn't a thing at all it's a person and that person is Jesus so as we encourage our clients to still go after their goals we really need to figure out what the reasoning is behind why they're going after their goals is it just for self -satis satisfaction or is it really to go after and glorify God and it's just an amazing journey to be able to watch them and and help them see that it's God that's going to be the one that's getting them there and it's him that they're going to be for giving him the glory and also on this way how blessed he's going to make them physically and mentally and in their relationships and in at every aspect of their life um, so I thank you for watching my video I wish you all the best in your endeavors and I wish you and your family and friends a Merry Christmas and I pray that you all have a healthy and blessed 2018 thanks